Hi, it's Jamie, and in keeping with uh, my theme for fall and autumn, um, I'm going to show you how I make my acorns. Uh, I do them on the wheel, but I am going to show you how to do them hand building wise. Um, what you'll need for this is um, a bottle, um, and I've taken an iced tea bottle. I like the shape right here, and I've covered it with some nylon. <laughs> And um, then if you want to take the template from the pour over, coffee pour over, that's what I did here. Um, then you'll need an extra slab of clay to drape over the mold for the cap. So in a lot of my videos, I show you, I work with these molds, which are made from uh, the clear plastic ornaments. Uh, and this one I thought I would show you um, using something more readily available to you, and that is an orange. So I use this in my pumpkin video. Um, I'm going to use it here for this one too. So this one I have already draped and cut, and it's just hanging out, firming up. And let's show you how the bottom works. So I'm going to put this on the bottle, and I'm going to try to get as close to the top as possible. So I'm going to swing that around and line it up. So look how much overhang I have. Um, I'm going to push in at the crease and I'm going to cut some of that off. Now the excess I'm going to push back into where I just came from. So now I need to get rid of the excess um, clay that's on here from the push in. So I'm going to take a, you could take a serrated rib. In this case, I'm just using a broken comb. And I am really scraping it against the seam. This is fresh clay, so I'm not worried, too much worried about using um, slip to join this seam. So I'm keeping, I'm keep removing the clay. And then when I have felt like I've got enough off, and I will just smooth it out with a rib. So you can get smaller bottles to make smaller acorns. Um, and here we have the cap. Now you could do, there's a couple choices here. You could kind of push in a little bit. Um, but you could also take a ball of clay and make a tip. I really don't need to use slip at this point, but just to make sure it really sticks on there, I'm going to put some slip. Now that I have the um, forms shaped, I'm going to score each part of those and I'm going to put slip on them and um, join them together. Now once I've joined them together, um, I'm going to do the stitching technique across where I've joined them and I'm going to get a coil and I'm going to add it all the way around the connection there. So when you're rolling out coils, it's good to spray every so often to keep the coil moist. So um, once you've put it in there, then I just go back through and I do some more smoothing. After that, um, I'm putting it back into the chuck and using more smoothing with the rib. Um, when you're doing hand building with the acorns, it's a lot of smoothing. It's much faster on the wheel, but for those of you who don't use the wheel, this is a good alternative. Anyway, I'm just putting in my final touches here. So at this point, I'm going to uh, puncture it and I'm going to let it set up and I'm going to slip on over now to the wheel. So I have this on fast forward, but as you can see, um, you know, it is going to go pretty quick. I love the sound effects of the cars in the background. It makes it go with the speed of the wheel. It's kind of fun, like I'm revving my engines or something. So I'm putting in the edge where the cap was, and then I'm collaring to close up the um, acorn. 
and then I'm just trimming off more excess pipe in the bottom, and then I'll come back and I'll smooth again with the red, with the hard red. Once I've done all the touch-ups, I'll take it off, I'll put it on a pegboard, and I'll poke it from the bottom just to let it dry. So here what I'm going to show you is another acorn that I had started. I'm centering the chuck on the wheel and um, I'm going to then add the acorn. This is one is leather hard already, so I have to attach it to the chuck as well. And then um, you could also use a leveler to make sure you have it in there correctly, which I didn't do this time. I just kind of eyeball it all the time. So I make the cap nice and round, um, as you can see. And now we're ready for the next step. So what I do first is I create this little ball of clay and I just, I set it down and I uh, just put it into like a little pyramid shape. Then I score both sides and I add, in this case, I added vinegar water and I attach it to the cap. Once I have it securely there, then I um, take a scoring tool and I create ridges in the cap. Now I'm starting with the petal, so I go around the cap and I just start creating these little petals. And that's the basis for the whole design there. So now once I have the whole flower pattern petal um, set up, then I go around and I attach, I go from tip to tip. So each time, each row, it's just going tip to tip. And I do that all the way down until I get to the bottom of the cap. So as I do this process, I have a lot of burrs on my um, cap. I'm going to sand those off with a soft scrubby pad. Here you also see me entering, uh, putting a hole in the acorn. So I'm just allowing the, this is a closed form, so you need to have a hole. So that's it. This is going to dry. And then as soon as it's dry, I'll do a soft scrub to get all those burrs off. And then I can fire.